Come on, team, let's go. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Each one of them is different, isn't it? Huh? Every one of them is different. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was um, got a bit of a soft brake on our right brake, so. Yeah. Uh, no, it because looked... this is a uh, cast through nose wheel. Yeah. Like no, it, it, dragon's I was going to take it out. Yeah, no, I, I, <laughs> I did open up the other eye just to see, <laughs> just, to, just to judge. I was always taught. When I was an air cadet, I was always taught not to fly with any change in my pocket. So that's my my little bag of change. I think you, <laughs> we're not going upside down. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, but not elegant. So it's hand on the airframe, left hand on the airframe from the see from the right side of the aircraft. Left foot on the peg, up, and then onto the wing. Um, missing out the flap. Make sure your trousers are pulled up as well. Absolutely, <laughs> That's yeah. That's always important. Uh, and then you can go hand on the airframe or the back of the canopy. There's a hand, a handhold there, or there's actually a handhold in the middle between the seats, and it's left foot in, down, and then you can lift it if you're flexible enough. You can lift the other foot down, in, and you're there. Built. Yeah, excellent. I got, I got that. <laughs> That's fine. The only thing you might want to do is lift your bum up and yeah, because yeah. it's got a little cushion. Okay, so basic safety checks for a passenger would be um, that the engine uh, Ignition is here, yeah. and to turn the engine off is all the way to the left, mm -hmm. which you would have to do if you had to pull the parachute. Okay. So we have a ballistic recovery system. Uh, it comes out actually at the front of, you've probably seen it before, yeah. there's a panel there. Comes out, aircraft's probably a right off, I don't know, but um, but it's it's there. You can, I believe, it's a, you, always, you have to be careful when you're saying things yeah, on yeah, video. Yeah. I believe, uh, there is no height, there's no minimum okay. height, yeah, but I mean you'd be a bit stupid doing it at 10 feet. Yeah. Um, so let's get it started and get some air running through it. Um, so if you, if you had to pull this, if I conked out or we mm -hmm. was going some, something ridiculous uh, and you didn't feel happy, you could pull it. Um, obviously make sure your belt is on and uh, it would be a case of the ignition needs to go off first. Yep and then you pull the handle out, I'll remove the pin just as we, we, mm -hmm. we get a uh, taxi out. So remove, well that'll be removed, and it would be, it'll come out to about here before it actually okay. goes off. So it's, yeah. it's quite a long pull. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's probably just to make sure that you definitely want to pull it. Yeah. So you pull it out, and um, as I say, that off, I would switch the fuel off at the same mm -hmm. time, which is down here. Yep. And that is by lifting up the little uh, lock and then turning it to the off position. 
So let's get the engine started and get it, get yeah, some no. air running through it. Okay, so fuel pumps on, everything's in the green. Unfortunately, the camera recording audio failed, so you're going to have a little bit of music and some voiceover from me, but we did have a great time. We had planned with John to fly down the store and then over towards the seals.
Hi guys, Tim has kindly let me do a quick plug for my channel Shortfield. If you like light aviation, you might find it worth a view. This week we're looking at all aspects of flying above the clouds for visual only pilots. Is it safe? Is it legal? And should you do it? I'd love for you to come and join me after you've watched the rest of this week's Jodel Flyer. There's a link down below. Thank you so much and now back to Tim. Terry demonstrated the safety feature of the autopilot. If you hold the switch for three seconds it will automatically turn you level through 180 degrees and clear of cloud if you should find yourself in that predicament. Then Terry took the camera and it was my turn to fly. was comparing the sight picture in cruise between his machine and the Jodel. Join us again on base, aiming for the last of the two reservoirs. John was flying top cover again. 
and I was pointing out that I actually make my turn to final above the top of that church. just to we'll open up the hat and we can get his landing hopefully. <laughs> bit of a jungle. No, that was my first mistake. Bit of a jungle trek. 